Hello and welcome. My name is Yvanka Hauska. You can call me Yovi. And I am nine time British Women's Chess Champion and I'm here with a very special person. Yes, he's really excels under pressure. He is Crystal Palace football club player, Martin Kelly. Martin, welcome. And uh, I have to ask, how did you get into chess? Good afternoon. Yeah, nice to be here. Um, well, competitively don't play much but you know with the friends or you know my, my relatives dad especially he always comes around at christmas time and we have a good few games of, of chess usually catching up on what's been happening in the world and stuff so it's i'm competitive but i use it more as a as a relaxation switch off from football i guess yeah no i heard you say you're competitive so is it really important to you because this is very important to every chess player to win yeah, I guess. I mean, being a professional footballer, I, I love love winning. And with my friends and, and relatives, I do enjoy winning at chess and stuff. But I understand that, you know, speaking to you off air just a minute ago, that you're in a, a different level to me in terms of your accolades in chess. So I'd rather, you know, learn a little bit today and hopefully not get uh, beaten, you know, under five moves would be great for me. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, but you know one of the things I was saying also off air was that one of the most brilliant things I've learned is that a lot of your football expressions are actually translatable into the chess world yeah. like a, like <laughs> hair dryer treatment I'm using that one right, using that, yeah. <laughs> any peace of mind that's not working that's going to get the hair dryer treatment howler <laughs> <laughs> nutmeg kicking I love it yeah there'll be a bit of that thing in this game won't there yeah so one of the things that um, what we're going to do is we're going to play a mini match. And uh, luckily for me, this is not going to be a football match because that is not my territory. <laughs> I yeah. think I, I would be sent off the pitch within a minute. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, one of the things, because it's a mini match and obviously this is my territory, chess. So we're going to be playing chess with uh, time odds. So you'll get 10 minutes on the clock and I will just get three minutes. And uh, when my clock goes down to 30 seconds, I really just have 30 seconds. There won't be any added time per move. And I have to give you a warning that when it goes down to 30 seconds, I will start panicking like crazy. Oh, yeah. sure. <laughs> that is kind of crunch time and anything can happen. So you're in luck there. No, I, I also have to say it was a bit of a risky move to take such a time deficit because I don't know what you're like as a player. You could be like the next grandmaster. <laughs> yeah, of course. Very much doubt it, but I give it my best shot. Uh -huh. And uh, is there anything you really like about chess? Like, what's your style? So I can uh, get a few pointers. Uh, no, I'm defensive. Yeah, especially today, more so. I think um, try so and you're going to park the bus in front of your king and just pretty come much. Say, yeah, not, not going to let me in. Yeah, I don't want I don't want checkmate to be honest. So I'll yeah. get, get the timer down, run down a little bit, and and see where where that takes me. Okay, yeah, so this is a, it's a good tactic actually, just to kind of hold firm and uh, let my time tell. That uh, if I lose on time, basically you flagged me, and uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of position we have. Okay. If I lose, that's it. And uh, if you lose on time, I think there are some special rules that we might let you play on. Yeah. But there's only one thing that I cannot allow, and that's a take back. Sorry, that's, okay. not, <laughs> that's technically not within my, my possibilities. But uh, yeah, so when you're ready, sure. I will let you begin. But of course, I also have to say that if you've been bitten by the chess bug, please like, share, subscribe, um, give a follow to chess24.com and also to me, the little hat. And also, if you've been bitten the other way with football, then uh, please give Crystal Palace Football Club a follow and also Martin Kelly, because I think I'm... I'm this has kind of really incentivized me to pick up football again. Because uh, I used to go when I was a kid, I was born in Camberwell, and I used to go to Crystal Palace all the time for walks, see the dinosaurs, look at the football. Oh, really? Yeah, the dinosaur part. It's brilliant, isn't it? Really yeah, good. yeah. And uh, it's like home. South London is always going to be home to me. So. Yeah, you'll have to go come a game on. You know, the fans are back. We're missing them so much. Can't wait for that first game to have them all back. But. Yeah, it's, um, it's a different atmosphere to a lot of grounds you go to in, in football in the Premier League. If you want to go to a ground with good atmosphere and good fans, then Palace at home against you know any opposition is really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be there when COVID is over. That's it. I'm going to be there. I'm going to yeah, go and watch. Yeah. 
And I know a few of my chess player friends are real Crystal Palace supporters and they're crazy <laughs> jealousy. That well, that's it, yeah. Well, our fan base is, yeah, fanatical about Palace as well. So you don't get the, you get every fan you speak to, you know, no matter where you are in London, they know everything about Palace. So right from the youth up to the first team and stuff. So it's it's a good, good club with a great feel of, of fan base. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm uh, looking forward to this. I'm also looking to see how uh, football helps chess or the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're ready, do you want to make the first move? Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So you've been watching the Queen's Gambit. So I only have three minutes on the clock. And I'm going to start off with, like, I always start off with, this is like my bread and butter. I'm going to play the Karakan. So okay. that's, this is, uh, what I do is I'm getting ready to put another pawn in the center. So get ready for that pawn to be challenged. Right. So almost, I think I can even pre-move this. Oh, oh, this is like, <laughs> I have to do some theory now. This is like serious opening. So he's challenged, but I don't I don't care. I'm still gonna put my pawn in the center. So now there's like massive tension in the center. Okay, now there's gonna be some exchanges and uh, I'm attacking your pawn. So you're gonna to have to do something. And have you been preparing, Martin? I've never, I'm just, this clock thing's all new to me. So when I'm seeing the time going down, it's... Yeah. So I've given you those double pawns, but I want to win them back. I have to tell you the one thing. So they're, they're like by themselves, those pawns in the center. And what I want to do is I want to get all my pieces out and then I'm going to attack those little, oh, the queen out. Aggressive stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take that and just uh, hope for the best. So queen is out. That's very brave. Yeah, it is, yeah. That's very brave to come out with a queen because if I attack her, you have to move her. Uh-huh. So, uh, fighting words. <laughs> Sorry, I just I just lost in the game at the minute, but you, <laughs> no, you probably okay. know your you know what moves you're going to do like in advance, but I I really don't. It's yeah. Sorry. Difficult. So yeah, now I'm going to support that knight because I don't want to go back. I want to take my claim in the center. So yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, and I have I only got two minutes, so I do have to go quickly and uh, hassle you a little bit over the board. So yeah, check. Okay, so let's block that with my knight. And uh, just yeah. see, I can't so until, open him up in a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Until I get my king to safety, I'm not going to relax. I'm going to be like high stress. <laughs> <laughs> Once he's in safety, I'm like, oh, okay, I, I can get and concentrate on my other pieces and get going. Mm. So, you've also got to do the same thing get your king to safety. Seven minutes. Seven minutes on it. Oh, was that? Did you want to play that? Um, I didn't have. I didn't know where I was going anywhere else. So I'm just. Uh, getting... Okay. Yeah. So 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 I'm going to move my bishop, and then my king is going to get. It's going to do castling. It's going to do that funny special move. Oh, okay. That's that's what you want to do with the king because there's a bit slow. The king is in the center, so what I'm going to do now is I've got my eyes on the prize now. So right. it's a bit like it's a bit like kind of like Harry Potter's kind of chess, you know. Just that is like the snitch. If I win that one, I'm going to win all. Okay. Oh yeah. Um. Let's see where this is going now. <laughs> You got, you got to concentrate on your king, get him to safety. That's, that's the main thing. Or if you can't do that, use all your pieces. 
that's like teamwork. We had a little saying when we did the Champions Chess Tour, teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Back. Yeah, move back. The only problem is you can't make this special move, the castling. Yeah. Because this is what you really want to do with your king. You want to get it castled so that the, it's the pawns or protect the king. Okay, yeah. I've got to move this bishop to castle all the knight, haven't I? The yeah, but the night. problem is, is that you you can't castle now. So now you just have to kind of go into like some kind of defensive shield. Yeah. And uh, well, I'm going to try and break you down. So just park the bus in front of the king. <laughs> oh, I've lasted more <laughs> moves than I thought in a minute, so. <laughs> no, the king, king thing now is... is you, yeah, you don't you don't think of that when you play with friends and family. You just uh, well, both teams are aggressive when I'm at home, so it's it's nice. And then yeah, things are getting moved. Yes, so just just uh, give some of your pieces the hairdryer treatment and exactly, just give yeah. them that knight. That's coming. Okay. That knight on the left hand needs on the left hand side. It wants to do something. It's right where the king is. It needs to get out into the game. I love that expression hairdryer treatment i'm uh, so stealing that yeah that's a great move so now okay so now i have to do this exactly the same so i'm going to start mobilizing my bishop and uh is that that you would before when you said i was sort of in trouble you, this bishop was a big part of it wasn't it that was no it was your it's the king it's the king you've got to sort out the king because yeah. normally your, your position would be absolutely fine if your king could do what my king just did but since you moved your king, you can't do it anymore. So now you just ah, have to, okay, okay, now right, you just yeah. have to yeah, go yeah. real defensive okay. and get all your pieces out while I'm I'm gonna come at you. Yeah. That's gonna give you some warning there. <laughs> 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 and you just you and all you've got to do is trade pieces. Just trade a bishop front. Just yeah. So you you're also going aggressive on me. So that's like Harry, that pawn. We we've given it a name. And uh, Harry. that one. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive you back. Okay. Oh, dear. So I'm going to ask questions to the bishop. I'm like, yeah, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to take it, take my knight, going to move it back. And uh, I've done a little pre-move. So if you take my knight, I'm going to take your bishop. Yeah. So we'll be playing super quickly. And uh, your clock is going down, Martin. <laughs> OK, you took my knight. That's, OK, that's good. Now I'm going to take it. <laughs> so I don't want to top off queens, because if I swap off queens, your king was really bad in this stage of the game. But if I swap off queens, it starts becoming better and better. I have, I have a nickname for the king. It's called Benjamin after that character from Benjamin Button. Yeah. Yeah. You know how the, he's born old and he gets younger and younger. That's like my, the same analogy with the king. But if I take if I take your pawn, you're going to take with the queen, aren't you? Is that what yeah, you're talking that's about? That's right. You don't want to do that. That is no. bad. Don't don't give me your queen. I will take it. That's like ultimate in my house when I'm playing. I just want to keep my queen at all costs. And yeah. I guess that's where I'm going wrong. You got to protect your king at all costs. Yeah, yeah, you gotta attack the king at all costs, and also use all your pieces. If you if you talk to all your pieces, you'll find out some of them aren't happy with you, and uh, those are the ones you get into the game, and then then you come at me. Yeah. Ah. So. Clock's this, going down fast. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but you know, you know that sensation. We get it on a normal basis. You mm -hmm. know, we just look at the clock and we look at the board, and the board doesn't make any sense to us. We look at the clock again, and we're like, just... "Okay, you're going for, you're going forward." Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap off that bishop because it's a good, good idea for me, and uh, then I'm going to. Let's go in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, you see that rook is lined up against your king. Okay. So I've got my eyes on attacking you because mm -hmm. rooks, they love open lines and uh, it's coming your way. It's them's fighting words. Trouble, yeah. <laughs> I, I really like bantering. I have an <laughs> older brother that was very mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> and we always did a little yeah. bantering like this so yeah it's just terrible being in a situation knowing that i'm two moves away so i'm getting checkmate 
Yeah. Uh, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do something a bit mean. Sorry, sorry, Martin. I'm gonna take your knight with my rook. Okay. And uh, I want your king to go to a certain square. But I can take him, right? You can take it. But I have a, a, a bit yeah. of idea. Yeah. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do this. I wanted to give you a check. And then you see my knight is attacking your king. So you have to move your king. I'm attacking your queen. So what I'm going to do is win your queen. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. So I can't take your pot, your knight? No. With no, my no, no. No. Uh, no, no, no. This is... Uh, this is uh, my fox in the box. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the king king just shouldn't be up this high, should it? <laughs> no, 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 no. You, this is a <laughs> you've got a Spartan king, what we call Spartan king, you know, a warrior king that's out in the front. This is really good in the end game. You want your king to be like that when there's not that many pieces left, but um, you don't really want it in the beginning of the game to start out with this warrior king oh. leading the charge. It just gets hunted down. I started when I moved the king out of place at the start, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. You needed to do that special move and then you would have been absolutely fine. Pawns can't go back, can they? Right, let's get in. Here. Yeah, so, so now this is... The clock's run, running right down as well. It's like for 10 minutes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yes, 50 seconds. Yeah, this is uh, okay. So now, now, okay, I'll try and put you out on your misery. So I, I will try to. <laughs> I'll try and hunt down the king. So knew you basically knew you was going to win as as soon as I moved that king the first time. You think? Yeah. Yeah, because it's very difficult for you to kind of because you needed to involve all your pieces, and you can only really do that when your king is tucked behind pawns. And you've you've got the rook into play, because once you get the rook into play, you you, you know then you, then it's like a war, it's a, exactly like a battlefield, and uh, yeah. and uh, this time with that, with your king out there in the, in, in an open position, an open position as a, a a piece a position where there aren't too many aren't too many um, pawns on the board, yay. Run out of time. Yes. But I guess it was inevitable anyway. If yeah, you if you want a second game, I'm up for that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's go. Okay, no, let's go. Second game. Okay, so here is second game. Note to self about castling. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna try to open up with the Queen's Gambit, you know, because that feel that TV series was just amazing. Did you watch it, Martin? Do uh, you know what we just started last night? We got uh, interrupted at our time at, at night, the minute with the kids, we put them to bed, have tea, and then, you know, yeah. we're, we're getting ready for bed. So we're, we're definitely watching that over Christmas because of the reviews of the, you know, the lads and the staff here have said it's brilliant, but yeah, it's good, yeah? It's really good. It's really, it's really, really good. Uh, they have certain things, like uh, I really like the character of Beth, the way she sits and uh, the way she concentrates. Okay, so you're not letting me get my queen's gambit. Okay, so I'm going to develop my knight. So it's just like football, you know, you, you've got to concentrate on getting your half ready and I'm going to get my half ready. And if I go into your half, you should try to kick me out. Uh -huh. So spit the board, spit the board into my side, your side, anything that comes into my side, I'm going to be like, no, we, we, aren't, we aren't happy about that. Okay. So that is a bold move. That is bold. That is bold. And I don't have so much time to deal with that. It's a, it's a Dutch. You know, I went public with, with saying that the Dutch was a bad, bad opening. When you open up with that pawn like that, it's a... Uh, bad for me or bad for you? No, it's, no it's, it's, it's okay. It's not a problem. But I went public in an earlier kind of show and I kind of said, I don't like it. And ever since then, people... People play it against me just to provoke me. Oh, right, okay. Well, <laughs> I, did, I didn't know that, but yeah, I just played that. <laughs> um, 
So now you have to back that up with your pieces. You kind of have to back it up with your knight and your bishop. And remember, get that get that king to safety. Castle, and then you're, you're good. You're good. And then what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to squash you. So by that, I mean I'm going to try and take over the whole board. So that's that yeah. kind of the strategy. So, so I'm, I'm not really kind of a caveman player, although I can be. Caveman player kind of like goes immediately for your king, but the kind of like the snake kind of version, that's basically I'm just going to try to wrap myself around your pieces and then push you back until you've got no square. Oh, we're going to get a stone wall. So if you put your pawn, it, your queen's pawn, two squares forward, that is a stone wall. So you've gone solid. Really? Yeah. Solid, I like that. Yeah, yeah. It's the same as our football team. You get, you get, you've got yourself a little wall, go, wall of pawns going on. That is like one of the most difficult openings to break down. That is. Uh, it's good to hear. Yeah. So. So stake your claim in the center. That's what I advise. Stake your claim, and then get your king to safety, and then we fight. You check. Very good. Very good. Okay, sir. Bishop, I'm going to block that with my bishop, and uh, I'm going to to get my king to safety, and then I'm going to fight you in the center. Okay, so here, so this is like you're in my so if you're going to take, you have to capture my bishop now. Yeah, and so now what I'm going to do is you're on my side, and I don't like that. Mind. Yeah, I'm going to chase it away. I don't like it. <laughs> go back wow. go back to the edge we have like this saying in chess which is like knights on the edge fall on the, fall off the hedge that just kind of means they're not great and you want your knights in the center because then they're like octo knights they control eight squares and all good yeah so i've come yeah had my little bit and now you've you've scared yeah. me off yeah yeah so now you see i did, ah. I did that special move my king is safe and then after that you, you've got to do exactly the same. Well, right now. Yeah, you should you should do the same with your king. Get get your yeah, that's it. That's the perfect move. And then now, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do you remember I said I was gonna squash you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, here it comes. So I'm gonna take my 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 space and then I'm gonna back it up with my pieces, and then I'm gonna come forward. Hmm. so i have to ask are you kind of thinking in terms like you would in football would you is this how you think in football or is it nothing like that well no it's difficult because i know football inside out and chess i'm just like i, I can i can feel <laughs> that a few moves time i'm going to get in check again so it's, it's completely different yeah but do you, is, do you still have the same kind of ideas in football with space and like with possession? And yeah, definitely. We have, you know, we have, I'd say our defensive, it's more like the, the pawns in terms of keeping a steady ship and then all the, the you know, bits at the back are, are going out to, to, yeah. to play the game. We've got, you know, Zaha would be my queen. Yeah. And then... We're just protecting the king out there with everyone else, but yeah. But at the same time, you're kind of holding holding the fort with your defense because the kind of ideal thing is not to just protect your king, but also just to kind of go forward. Because otherwise, you're too. We we kind of have a nickname for that kind of approach when you just have played to defend your king. So my nickname it was taught to me by the Scots actually. They said it's the Gandalf approach because you know when Gandalf had that demon. And he's yeah. like, you shall not pass. That's, <laughs> That's what it's like in chess if you kind of just protect your king. It's like, oh, you're not going to pass, mate. Yeah, it doesn't get you yeah, anywhere, this, especially the clock. So now, okay, now I'm going to come in with my Octo Knight. It's going to come in and try to do some damage. And I've got, I've got my, my, my guys who are going to try and earn some space, the little ones. And... Uh, Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. So I'm coming in and I'm, I'm looking at your pawn. So munchies. 
right. And, uh, yeah. Um. But one of the things that I like about football, which I think we should have in chess, is we should have this substitutions. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be doing that now on the sideline, I think, getting the, some oh. bit more experience. Yeah, oh, actually, I do have a friend. A question from one of my friends. He's he's dying to put you in his fantasy football team. <laughs> he he won a lot of points with you last season. Yeah, last season. Yeah, I've had a bit of uh, trouble with injuries this season yeah. since lockdown, actually. But it's um, is it getting better? Yeah, yeah, we're doing doing everything to to get myself fit, and we're doing all right as a team at the minute. That's the main thing. So just yeah, waiting. yeah. Because uh, you know, chess players are—they're are, are, uh, a bit obsessed with fantasy football at the minute, especially yeah, after Magnus. Are. Magnus kind of Magnus, the world champ, Magnus Carlsen, the world champion. He topped the fantasy football league. Oh really? Yeah. And uh, after that, all the chess players kind of got involved, and they're—they're they're going crazy. Yeah, it's, it is good. Me and my friends play it as well. And uh, yeah, so I'm attacking your queen. I got yeah. two minutes left on the clock. So remember, if I go under one minute, then you've got serious chances to hassle me on time. Okay, so now I'm going to... Okay. Okay, fine. I'll take that pawn. So I'm attacking your queen. So yeah, I also saw that Crystal Palace had an amazing result on Sunday. 5-1. Yeah, it was the biggest, biggest win, I think, in the, yeah. in the Premier League. Okay, I'm attacking you again. And now I'm going to use my lady. My lady's going to come into the game and uh, try and do some damage. Yep, and now she's kind of come. Actually, you, you've been sneaky with me, actually. Um, okay. You've been sneaky with me because you could uh, take your the pawn with your knight. So now I'm going to come in with my knight because because my knight likes to come in and do damage. Uh, uh, see, I've got two knights on your half of the board, and uh, we like that. We like oh, that a uh, lot. Yeah. Uh? yeah. Now I can just see what's happening. This this queen's going in a sec. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making her dance a little bit. <laughs> and now and now my queen oh, is going to come in. Mine. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get all my pieces together because you know teamwork and uh, we just we don't, I don't have the plan as such I'm just gonna move my pieces all forward and uh, see what happens right and uh, yeah okay 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 oh I'm getting excited because there's a rook and the queen and they are in the same route as my knight, so now I can come knight to here, and I'm tacking your rook and your queen. So I, I like. I'm also greedy. If you give me the chance to win material, I'm gonna do that, even though it might not be the best move. I'm just like, okay, I'll do it. And yes 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 okay so now i okay fine i'm, I'm gonna win it i'm gonna win your your rook and then okay so now and now i'm gonna come in with this knight so i'm gonna come real into the heart of your position okay. but the only guy that i need to talk to is this uh who gets the hairdryer treatment is my bishop my bishop really is not working but you never know Where's your, yeah oh you attacked my queen mm -hmm. but you forgot your knight was on freeze So yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I should be really kind. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's just. Uh, <laughs> but you do. Trying to get, I'm trying to get your clock down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. You're gonna run me down on the clock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with my rook. So this is like the dream line for a rook. So I'm gonna come in there, and uh, I'm gonna try to put you away before the minute runs out because they thought minutes not that much time okay now okay now it's the other rook that's going to come and join it's the only one that wasn't working so i'm going to come in 
when you say is it working it's not it's not doing anything on the board it wasn't doing anything it is now it's on an open line rooks are kind of like they're your long range weapons so you really got to think about chess like a an, like an old fashioned military struggle from 19th century and uh, the rooks and the bishops they need their open lines and diagonals um the knights not so much oh oh you've been tricky okay so i'm gonna defend that pawn and uh now it's race against the clock 46 seconds but you've got to hurry up too martin yeah um Can I do it? Just trying to take pieces off, you know. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Well. That's a good idea. I've only got 40, 40 seconds. So here, just just uh, make any old move. Just to uh, uh, start attacking some of my pieces with your queen. You've got one really great piece, which is your queen. Just start. Oh, not. <laughs> I've got four <laughs> seconds left. The wrong it's one. Like... The wrong one. Yeah, this this is the weak spot. This pawn that I'm about to take. That was the weak spot. Yeah. Because uh, I had a pawn chain going, you always attack the pawn chain, and uh, yeah. Again. Oh. You know what? It's, it's taught me so much in just having two games against you because you get. I, I don't play with timers at home, so you can have as long as you want, and the yeah. games just drag out for say an hour or whatever. So it's more long-winded, but you've got a you've got to think at least two or three moves ahead. It's so. You know, you can yeah. see it see it there that I'll make one move and you already know that you're gonna capture my big pieces or take my king out in Yeah, that's this there is there is a lot of things about that, but a lot of it is also just um knowing the signs. So once you know like certain patterns, like now you know the pawns in a in a diagonal line, you just attack the base. You, the base is always the weakest link. So you just tack that one yeah. and uh, you go for that. And then once you get your king to safety, then you can go with the rest of your pieces. And it's just like a, you just have to kind of think of yourself in a, in a tent in 18th century Napoleon time and just go, oh, you, you're not working. Go, go to that line over there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One more food for thought. Just give me time to practice when I get home now. I think that was yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for giving me the time to, to play. That was, that was a lot of fun. I um I'm uh, sorry if I distracted you with my bantering. Yeah, no, it was I would just got wiped floor with dinner basically, but I mean at least there was no checkmate, so I just ran out of time, which was is new for me, the timer anyway. But yeah. But now so. you know, now you can challenge uh, everyone at the uh, Crystal Palace. Exactly, yeah, I think a few Take of the them lads. all on now, yeah, yeah. and uh, when they make a mistake, you can go all Beth Harmon on them and go, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you can Mr. Shy will resign now. If they lose their queen, resign now. Yeah, exactly. Play that on them. Yeah. Okay. So, so Martin, yeah. it's been a pleasure, actually, just to be here and just to kind of talk to you about chess and about football. And uh, next time you play... I'll be seeing if you use some of the chess skills. Yeah, definitely. Because uh, I'm for sure I'm going to be using some of the football knowledge that I picked up. Yeah, I think so. We're, um, I'll have a good go at it. It's been great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so everyone, thank you so much for joining in and watching our little mini match. And uh, if you do like what you've seen, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, the more the merrier. And of course, if you've got the chess bug, please follow Chess24 and or myself, the little hat on Twitter. Don't ask how I got that name. It was a long, long time ago. And uh, if you're like me and I've been, been bitten by the football bug, then don't forget to follow Crystal Palace FC and Martin Kelly. He's one of the best defenders around and he's assured me he's a good fantasy football pick for the <laughs> next few matches. Yeah, maybe soon. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.